As the death toll in Shakahola continues to rise by the day, concerns over the activities in churches in Kenya continues to grow, with calls of regulating their activities now raging on. The Federation of Evangelical and Indigenous Christian Churches and the Presbyterian Church of East Africa say that the church has been infiltrated by quacks and thus should be regulated. The vast majority of churches in Kenya are there seeking to bring good to the community and bring life, not death, to the people, to help Kenyan people and families and to be a positive influence on the Kenyan culture. Operations and parameters of operations are needed so that we remain fair to all humanity. While condemning the actions of the Good News International Church led by Paul McKenzie, the religious leaders are calling for vigilance among members of the public lest they fall into traps that may lead to their demises. We are taking a big share of the brain, even us uh, ourselves who are, who, are, who are church leaders in this country. We, we, we shouldn't just point a finger at, at, at Paul McKenzie. We should also point a finger at ourselves and say, if we teach our people, we train our people, we disciple our people, then they should be able to distinguish between the, the, the true gospel and the false gospel. Here in Nijambo, Ambalo kanisa kamiri haliwezi ifunza watu wake na jia hilo ama na jia hiyo. Na kwa hivyo tunataka kuuliza wa kristo wote. Ni vizuri kuerewa ya kuwa mungu wa metuita tumpende siyo tu kwa meo yetu. Waraki ni hata kwa maazo. Tusiache akiri. Na tusiache kuuliza maswari katika yare mambo ambayo tunaambiwa na viongozi wetu. However, there are those that do not share the idea of regulating the activities of the church as proposed by the cabinet secretary for interior Kithure Kindiki. Wale ambao wataenda kupitiza seria hiyo, wengi tumechangamana, wengine hawana imani na makanisa na na, 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 na waubiri. Kwa hivyo ningesema kitu ambacho inafaa ni ya kwamba hiyo sheria iachiwe umbrella bodies na wale viongozi wa umbrella bodies their sentiments come as former kilifi governor and senate speaker amazon kingi has attributed the deaths in shakahola to poor intelligence gathering at the national intelligence service in his statement kingi questions and i quote how did such a heinous crime organized and executed over such a considerable period of time escape the radar of our intelligence system how did this pastor gather so many people indoctrinated, brainwashed and starved them to death in the name of fasting and then bury them in a forest, go without being detected. He has further in his statement gone ahead to request for the harshest punishment under law to be meted upon those responsible for the deaths in Shakahola, intimating that the constitution guarantees freedom of worship but not freedom of fetal cultism. Kama Umwangi K24, Nairobi.